Tips for Innovation. This week, I've been really into pixel art. And the obvious question is... The obvious question is, can you show us what pixel art is and how to do it? Yes, I can. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of pixel art basics and also how to make a Minecraft resource pack. Let's get right into it. Now, if you're not in this for the how to make a resource pack, you can skip to the time frame on screen. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is click the link that is in the description down below if you want an empty resource pack to make your own one and if you want to practice pixel art. You can also just practice, practice pixel art and if you're not looking to make a Minecraft resource pack or texture pack, that's totally fine and just forget about what I'm saying here. So the first thing you want to do is hit download. Then it's going to take you to a little page and you're going to wait till it downloads. All right, so now once it has downloaded, it should download a file that looks like this. So I want you to double click on it. It'll open up something in your file explorer and you're gonna click extract all. Now this is gonna take a second because it is extracting all of Minecraft. Um, now this is because it, so that you can have every texture in the game so that you're free to change and edit how you want. So we're just gonna wait till this is finished downloading and then we'll get on with the tutorial. All right. So now that you've opened up your um, file and it's unzipped, you're going to go to the Assets, Minecraft, then you're going to go to Textures. This is where the most textures are for Minecraft. And once again, if you're not doing a Minecraft texture pack, then completely forget about this. And then um, I'm going to be going in Items. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to redo like the Diamond Sword. So, um, and again, the tips that I'm giving are going to be pretty general. So I'm just going to search up diamond and then we can go here. Now you can right click on it and you go down to open with. Now if you have Windows, um, pretty much everyone should have a software called Paint 3D. This um, automatically comes on Windows and you just hit open with and then click Paint 3D. Now this opens up and it creates a new project. You're going to have to zoom in a bit by scrolling. And now you see your diamond sword texture um, or whatever texture you were doing. So now I like to go to the pixel pen because this does each pixel. You adjust the thickness down to one pixel. And now you can draw whatever you want on your diamond, sword, or whatever texture you're doing. Um, it's really useful. You've got undo and redo up here, and you've got a history so you can like undo and redo really quickly. Um, but important thing with Pixlr is first off you want to have an idea. So um, I was kind of thinking that it'd be really cool if I did my uh, swords, my diamond swords looking like a um, lightsaber or something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my eraser, once again, putting the thickness down to one pixel so that I can e erase each pixel at um, a time. And then I think I'm going to erase everything but like our little hilt here, and I'm going to think um, about what color it is. So now lightsabers are kind of like white in the middle and they kind of come up and they like glow outside. Um, so since it's diamond, I think I'm going to do it you know, in like a blue color. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my pixel pen and draw just a single pixel going all the way like this. Now this does not look very good, um, and I know that. So the next thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to go over to the blue and how to choose colors is you go over here. And you can click that and you uh, can just choose your colors however you want. And I think it is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to go to a lighter shade of blue like this. And I'm going to go like this, um, just like that, and I'm just going to add some like this. Now shading is really important especially when making textures because it can make um, something look very fluid so it's important to go from like a white or whatever color and do like a gradient going from light to dark. So I'm gonna be go now and I'm gonna do like a stronger color of blue. So maybe I want to actually be a little bit lighter in color there we go and hit OK and now as you can see that's already looking pretty awesome. So now, as you can see what I'm doing here, all I'm doing, it's really simple. I'm just doing, adding the colors as I go, and I think that looks pretty good. And if you make a mistake, it's really easy with just the eraser, and uh, change the colors up is really easy. So you can just go like that, and I actually made it a little bit darker, I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, but then I'm just going to finish up my hilt here, and I was thinking kind of making it like a Kylo Ren one. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so as you can see here, I'm done with my texture, and uh, I think I really like it actually. So um, I put a one like blue dot down here. Um, I was kind of thinking this could be like a crystal or something, and as it slowly fades, I did like a darker gray and slowly getting lighter. lighter. And uh, I think that looks really good. So now what I'm going to do to save this into my pack is I can just hit menu and I can just hit save. Simple as that. Now I can close out the program and now my diamond sword is like that. So now I'm going to quickly go over how to, so you can just hit back, how to save this into and make it an actual texture pack. So you're going to take these two, go all the way back as far as you can. You're going to hit this. You're going to do send to. Okay. And then you're going to click a compressed zipped folder. So that should be right here. Now it should say compressing and it should take a little bit of time as it kind of goes whoop and um, compresses your file. Now it should make it here and you can rename it. So I'm going to just call it the Finnovation Pack. And I've already um, done this for quite a bit now. So this would be my V4. Um, and I can just hit enter. Now that's going to pop up in there. You can just drag that. And there you go, that's the file where now if I go into Minecraft and I um, launch that really quick. Alright, so I'm in Minecraft here and I'm in creative mode just to show you. So now I have done some other textures. Um, I did all of the Minecraft, um, I did like the diamond textures and I tried to make them look like late sabers or in that kind of style. So I did that and that here. Um, so as you can see there, we have our lightsaber looking um, textures, and I think they look pretty cool. Now, before the video ends, I do want to show some pixel art that my friend made. Here, I'll pop it up on screen right now. I think it's really amazing, and I really love how he did it here. The animals are really adorable. Now, let's finish on with the video. Well, I really hope you learned something about pixel art. I enjoyed it, and if you're confused, leave a comment down below. Down below, Finn. That reminds me of a joke. Oh, boy. Where do cows hang their art? I don't know. Where? A museum. Oh, that was terrible. Whatever, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!